welcome back to the Savannah Wildlife Reserve. Um, in the last episode we just built the entrance and this sort of guest viewing area um, for all the guest um, kiosks and things like that are going to be inside. And in this episode we are going to start on one of the three zones. Zone 1, 2, and 3. Um, I think I'm going to do zone 1, just so that makes sense. Um, do that today and uh, go from there. What I think I'm going to do though is um, I'm going to just do it kind of like as a time lapse. I'm sp you know speed it up like I do in my, a lot of my other videos and put some music to it because it's going to be mostly just placing trees and uh, messing with the train. And then when I'm done with that, I'll come back and we can put in the animals. So we're going to get that started, and I'll be right back.
right, and we're back. And you can see here that I finished uh, placing all the foliage in the first section. Uh, this right here is going to be the start of a, a river that's basically going to run through the whole whole park. And just wanted to make it pretty dense on this part of the river, but my plan is you know, zoom out so I can show you. Um, this is pretty dense, really green area, but I'm thinking uh, take this river, wrap it around sort of where this uh, ravine is here, and it's just going to get shallower and uh, uh, narrower as it goes through here. And then by the time it gets to around here, it's going to be uh, either really uh, narrow and it'll kind of come off the map somewhere around here, or it'll just disappear altogether. So. This area right here will be really much more dry and arid than uh, these two. So, all right, I'm gonna take. Let's go to the uh, viewing area and take a look on what the guests will see. So if they're down here, we'll be able to see all this. It's pretty cool. And. We go up here. This is what the build is in. So not bad. Um, not a great view of the river. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I should move some of these trees. I do want to look as natural as possible. Yeah, I'll keep them. You can still get a couple good views. So now we just got to add what the animals that are going to be in this part. First thing I'm going to do, oh, I that's one thing I did forget. I need a, some staff gates that lead actually out of the staff center. Um, get rid of the roof for a second so I can see. Uh, yeah, I think just one. Here is probably fine. The same over here. Looks good. And now we're going to choose the animals that we'll place in this part. So, start with, <coughs> excuse me, with the wetlands. Um, What is this? No, it's not African. I'm going to look at this for a second. It's one of my new downloads. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Nile crocodiles. Definitely want to put these. The only concern I have is are they going? what are they going to try and eat if I put them with them? Some of these spoonbills I can put. I don't. I don't know if um, the crocodiles will try to eat them or not. Let's just put some anyways. Let's see what happens. This is Asia, so not that one. African Spoonville, that makes sense. Eurasian Spoonville, which apparently still does live in Africa. So we'll build stork. In Africa. We'll just start with these. Let's pause this. Twelve is probably enough. Now we gotta get some food for them. Some crickets. Um, I want to keep it close to the water. That way it looks more realistic. I could be feeding around there. Work. 
Put some more over here. Okay. Anything else? Oh, log, I think so. Yeah, why not? I'll get one of these. Maybe a couple of these in the tall grass. Alright, that should work. So that's them taken care of. I don't think will this fit. Doesn't stand out that bad. Alright. That's the spoon bills. Let's go with some flamingos now. Pretty easy test for this, huh? See if it tries to eat you. <laughs> It's going to be so far. It's good. Oh, I'll eat the crickets apparently. I think if they have enough food, it should be fine. Do they eat the crickets? Well, it doesn't say they eat the crickets. I'll give them some fish. I wish they could eat food underwater. That would be cool. Okay, that should be enough food. Put one more. Let's put two males and two or three females. I want in this particular I don't think so See, I don't want to put anything that can't swim because then it'll get in the water and then 
not be able to get out. Can I swim? I can swim. I think that'll work for this first section. Let's go down and take a look. To do one more double check. So, gee, the nails are significantly larger. I don't seem to be trying to eat anything yet. That's a good sign. Um, but yeah, I think I'll call it an end for this um, second episode. Got the first section done. Let's zoom out so you can see. Yeah, so the first section's done. We'll have two more sections to do. This one's going to be uh, continue the river. Uh, I think it'll be more like basic, um, sort of traditional African savanna animals like giraffes and uh, zebra and wildebeest, probably hippos. That'll all be in this section. And this section over here, um, I think in hyenas, um, What else? So maybe, maybe another carnivore if they're not going to kill each other right away. I don't want to. Me, I'm going to kind of keep carnivores to a minimum on this, just because I want to avoid. I mean, if some animals eat each other, it's not the end of the world because this is a wildlife reserve. So obviously, that's going to be sort of natural behavior. Um, but yeah, I wish I, while I'm doing the talking, I should put some zookeepers in. Let's start with five. Uh, but yeah, um, probably this one's going to be dedicated mostly to carnivores. Um, or maybe this one should be carnivores if it's a central. Mm. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. I'd probably not. I probably want this one to be mostly carnivores because it's going to be like a dry, uh, more arid area, which I think would look pretty good for uh, hyenas. And that's. Um, going to be the main uh, predator in this uh, reserve so yeah that's the plan um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode and I'll see you all in the next one thanks for watching <laughs>